Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. It's another edition of Ask the County. Joining us this morning, Saginaw County Treasurer, Tim Novak. Thank you so much for being Good here. Morning. How are you? Doing great today. Yeah, is, are your kids kind of like, oh my gosh, summer <laughs> is winding down. Yeah, and I think there's more activities beginning to happen yeah. at school, so it's kind of like, especially for the older ones. Yes. That I think eventually by the middle of August, they're like, can we just start already? I know, that's where they're feeling. <laughs> so, yeah, it is winding down, but there are still some family fun. There's some family there fun in Saginaw County. So tell us a little bit about uh, the Saginaw County Parks the Department. They're actually hosting a set of play dates for kids. That sounds exciting. Yeah, so they partnered with the YMCA's Mission okay. Nutrition Program, so a little partnership. And that's why they add either a lunch or a snack component into uh, most of these. You'll have to check some of them. Um, don't offer that, but for most of them, they offer a snack or lunch. How did so these get started first? Tell me about that. Like this was this was an idea just to kind of get kids outside. Yeah, and they wanted to get them outside. Yeah. They wanted, and I think uh, it's really interesting to use a lot of the city parks in okay. the neighborhoods, which are a little different, okay. along with the county parks as well. So there's a little um, combination. You know, the neighborhood parks add kind of a different flavor yeah. and feel. Um, the Saginaw County Parks are clearly uh, really, really cool, but yeah, kind of those neighborhood ones are fun. So highlighting some of those neighborhood parks yeah. that maybe others that don't live in that neighborhood can come in and share and, and meet new friends and the kids get to be creative and have fun kind of at the same time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's get to it. Let's yeah, talk about let's some of those it. play dates. Yeah, so um, they really they start even today. We're yeah. going to go ahead and start today as soon as today. And um, at both Otter Roser Park this morning and Fordney Park this afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, who doesn't like to play with um, uh, large yeah. pieces of wood, foam board, and cardboard? Adults do. And as get well. to build stuff. Yeah, um, exactly. Super sized fun. I mean, anything that's oversized balls and games, <gasps> things water. like that. Tomorrow, the Water Wars. I would think that the highlight tomorrow. What is that about? Um, that looks like that's 20 like foot inflatable water slide would be the highlight in, in my book, right? Oh so, my gosh. <laughs> um, sneak over there tomorrow afternoon yeah. at Haithco Park. Um, nothing but net. That's a, really for all ages. It's okay. basketball in the afternoon on Thursday. Um, they're going to teach skills of dribbling, passing, shooting, kind of all levels. It looks like just kind right. of a fun afternoon yeah. to be out at um, Vets McKinney Park there in the city, another one in the city. Um, so, um, and you have some upcoming, some other ones too, like yeah. down the road. So we move into like in the next week. So, you know, Tuesday, August 9th, yeah. art in the park, it's create and take art projects. So you get to create a project yes. and take it home with you. Um, there may be, even be the chance to get your hands messy with some shaving cream and some oh, other types of stuff. Kids love so that. kids love, who doesn't love that? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and also, uh, maybe for the older kids, there's a Gaga ball and archery. They got air streams to kind of keep the balls up in the air and the kids got to shoot them with the bow and arrow, nice. um, things like that to have some fun for them. That's all ages again, right? Okay. Um, right up until, and then they're going to be in Chesning um, at the Showboat Park wow. there on August 10th. Um, once again, the supersized fun one we talked about earlier, all right. things kind of over and above. Um, music on the move, August 10th. Mm. Um, that's over at um, Immerman Park okay. with music for Munchkins, which I know folks are familiar with. Yeah. You get to beat drums and tambourines and things. And really, they kind of culminate on uh, August 11th and 16th with some outdoor nature stuff. Pond life at Haithco Park. Nature Explorers, which includes a mile hike at Ringwood Forest, which is out in St. Charles. Okay. So, I mean, really, you could, if you kind of went through a lot of these, you could see the almost lots of different parts of the county, yes. different parts of the city. And I love it. There's music, there's arts, there's water, there's sports, there's something for everyone. And really it's all free. Enjoy. It's all free. Oh. So a good opportunity to get um, kids back out moving yeah. around and having fun. And once again, like, a, you know, do we meet a new neighbor? Do we meet That's a new right. friend? Yes. Um, you know, watch other kids play together. It's always kind of fun. And I mean, adults can make a new friend too when of you're kind of out there. And so tell us, Tim, where can parents go to learn more information about this? So really the best place to go is SaginawCounty.com and you click on the Parks Department's uh, website there, or you can call 790-5280, call the Parks Department. They'll handle any questions you may have um, about snacks oh. or about, you know, where, you know, exactly where an activity might be. Right. And it's and, all free. So I love that. And it's all free. And um, we really encourage to go. And the YMCA has been a great partner for this. Yeah. So really a fun, act, yeah. a fun uh, couple of weeks before we get back into school. And I heard something else. There are some yoga sessions going yeah. on tell us about yeah. okay. so on Get the, stretching. the next few mondays through yeah. the rest of the summer yoga by Catherine is going to be out okay. there at uh, haithco park there's sessions in the morning and the evening wow um eight dollars i think in the morning ten dollars in the evening so it's reasonable 
um, to come on out to the park and uh, who doesn't need to meditate and feel zen? Maybe chasing nowadays. the kids around need yes. you need a little bit of relaxation. Yes, you do. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly right. You are. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Tim, so Thank much you. for bringing this information to us. If you would like to know anything else, or you'd like to ask the county something, send it to WNEM at WNEM.com. Don't go anywhere. Matthew is talking all about sunshine after the break.